Knowing how to take good and accurate pictures of yourself without seeming unnatural is a must-have skill in today's society. Almost every social media site uses profile pictures, and you surely also don't want to have an empty Instagram account. Apply sunscreen before you shoot. This is a very simple but effective thing you can do. Apply a bit of sunscreen on your face before shooting, and you will have a nice glow coming from your face. Also, bite the inside of your cheeks a bit. It will let your face appear a lot more defined and make your cheeks a bit more hollow. Equipment. Of course, if you want to take quality photos you'll need some equipment. If you are going to take pictures by yourself you'd better hold the camera as far away from you as possible as you'll not only be able to find the best angle more easily but you'll also be able to capture a more perfectly composed image. A tripod is necessary when you are taking pictures of yourself with your phone or camera. Get one that is adjustable in height and allows you to fold it up for easy transportation. For the best results you also need a way to trigger the camera remotely through a wireless remote release shutter. Know your angles. Knowing your angles is super important. Focus on adjusting your chin, head, and body. Also, turn the camera up or down and repeat till you like the outcome. Take as many pictures as you can, and the more you practice, the more natural and easy it will be, and the better they will look. It will take some time at first, but as soon as you know your angles, your photos will look a lot better. Also, spend more time looking at yourself. Of course, this isn't meant selfishly or arrogantly, but spending more time looking at yourself, for example, in the mirror or through your camera, will let you become a lot more photogenic and make you know your angles in no time. Learn how to pose. Posing is the most essential thing in photography, but before that, determine the tone and feel you want to convey in your photos. Dictate this with clothing styles and your location. Relaxed, casual clothing will benefit laid-back, candid photos. In contrast, having a high fashion or smart look is better for formal poses. For posing, it all comes down to finding inspiration and recreating images. Generally, natural photos of you, like drinking something, looking at something, looking out the window, or performing an action, always do well as they appear genuine. By the way, Edenic Studios offers you a broad spectrum of rings and chains to choose from. Give you a unique and outstanding look. At the moment, they offer you a 40% discount on all of their products, which is insane. Go check them out. I put a link in the description for you. Lighting. Light is vital when it comes to photography, and this is also true when it comes to taking pictures of yourself. Most important here are the right angles. Natural light is always the best. Pay attention to the position of the sun and the direction of the sunlight. If you are inside, for example, take pictures near a window with natural light. Also make use of the golden hour. The golden hour is the last hour before sunset and the first hour after sunrise and will give your photos a warm glow and soft light. Smile with your eyes. Scientists analyzed more than 50 smiles and found out that a smile that pushes into your eyes is the most sincere one. Rather than just blankly smiling, try to think of things that genuinely make you smile and practice in front of a mirror. Go on Instagram and scroll till you see something funny, then take a selfie. Now compare the picture of you smiling with happiness to your fake one. You should see a difference in your eye area. Try to control your facial expressions and feel the difference between a genuine and a fake smile. Editing. To edit your photos, choose a platform like Adobe Photoshop or GIMP, but in most cases, your standard phone editing platform is enough. Editing mostly includes adjusting certain parameters, which all will emphasize and create a different mood as an outcome. Here's how to perfectly edit your photos. First, crop everything out of your photo you don't want to have. Then, focus on setting the right saturation. Saturation describes the intensity of color. The more you increase it, the more compelling and vivid your image will look because they will appear a lot richer in color. Always take a look at your skin tone as an increased saturation can quickly make your images look too unrealistic. Then you can play around with the brightness and contrast. Now you're finished. You should see a clear difference between the edited and unedited photo. 